It seems like time travel is one of those subjects that a lot of people either love or hate. It always gets so complicated that you always need some character there to go, what the crap is going on? I mean, you become your own father and then what? What are the rules? How does this work? Really, moreover, if you're your own father, then how did your son wind up with the exact same genetics as what you have, right? Come on, you're breaking both the laws of time and space and also of biology. Some writers just like to reconcile this by saying, hey, you know, if it happened, then who is history to judge? History doesn't care. It's the easy way out, but of course it doesn't satisfy everyone because there's still so many questions left behind. And that's all before you get into the real physics of time travel, and yes, time travel is a real thing. The faster you travel, the slower time moves, and this all has to do with the general theory of relativity, which is still not quite reconciled with quantum mechanics. See, the idea is kind of that time has a static velocity, and you could sort of catch up to time, and maybe even pass it, if you had an infinite amount of energy. Then, on the other side, I guess if you had zero energy, then you could travel through time faster. I guess, I'm just making that up. I'm still describing the impossible. You can never really reach absolute zero or have zero energy, because there's always going to be some little particle that'll bump into you and transfer energy to you. Plus, if I remember right, there are also some bastard little particles that'll move around even if you freeze them completely. But anyway, the point is, I think if you look at it from a practical standpoint, time would not be a living entity that cares at all about paradox. I think you'd be like an outside sort of thing, you know, like matter that was just spontaneously created and wasn't there before. Even if you could change history, I can't think of any reason why history would be this really sensical thing that would bother to change you. Why would it update your memories? Why would it try to expel you? Why would it do anything? But a lot of times, in a story, this just doesn't feel thematically appropriate. If a character changes history, it should be a big deal. But then if it is a big deal, you're kind of stuck with all the questions of why and how. But oh well, I guess that's just the nature of fiction. But anyway, let's get back to our game. Hello, my name is Taylor. And my name is Ray. And it is I who is Peyton. Yes. And we are recreating cutscenes. Here comes one right now. As I entered the chamber of William's tomb, I sensed right away that something was amiss. It was possible that this man had slipped and hit his head and broken his neck and also sucked out all of his own blood. But it was unlikely. Came this over here, Raziel. Yes. Well, I didn't see you. It's not like you're the center of the universe. You are facing Kane directly as you walk through the gate. Yes! You took several paces towards him, then got distracted by the corpse. Kane, you know you shouldn't leave food lying around. You're gonna attract ants. Then Kane attracts the vermin to Mobius' citadel. It is in this way that Kane will strike his vengeance. Yes. What do you want, Kane? Only for Raziel to hear Kane's words. Oh, well then I'm leaving. Well, then Kane guesses Raziel misses out on all of Kane's wisdom. You've never had wisdom in your life. You hate criticism and you don't learn anything. You must speak again. Yes, Kane cannot hear you turned away from him. I said you don't learn. You are your own worst enemy, you know that? It is a fault of which Kane is aware. Yes, and he curses Mobius for it. Poor innocent Kane, always tried to do best for Nosgoth. You remember when you had us burn down all the libraries? We agreed. No one was reading those books anyway. Kane was efficient. Yes, saving space. But it was guilty Mobius who began the genocide against all vampires. Which you flipped around into a genocide on humans. Yes. The reapers they saw. And now behold, Raziel, more proof of Mobius' guilt. Mighty Reaver, why do you lay here atop the corpse? Should you not be killing the innocent as nature intended? I am so sorry I broke you. Yes. We are reunited again, Raziel. Kane, if you hit me with that thing, I swear to God. Hit you? A second time? I am not intimidated. You're so silly, Raziel. I have always treated this as the answer. And it always was. But it was the answer to so many more questions. Kane, you are out of touch and you are approaching me with the weapon. You are the weapon, Raziel. It is bound to your soul. You have the reaver. Gaze! Yes! Gaze, Raziel! Purvey the image and see what has transpired! Kane and William, both armed with the Reaver, yes. And where does Mobius center his religious iconography but on the swords themselves? And here today again, we are with Raziel, Kane, and two Reavers. Kane, if you've learned anything, it's that we don't need to take an option. We can choose not to kill each other. And we can choose not to kill ourselves, Raziel. Yes, you can choose. Kane, as a warning, that's the Reaver side and I appear not to be in control of that hand and... I guess I've got this now. The arm sword really likes to hold the reaver. So, now what do you expect me to do? <laughs> Careful, you almost up, came in his face! Up, back up, What are sorry, you doing? I surrendered to you! Look, sometimes it just gets out of control and I can't make it do what I want. Did you, did you do 
something to, to make it angry? No, it, no, it well, is my you favorite must have sword. Done something to piss it off. I cause didn't do anything to piss it off. Give me that cane, oh my god, it's so I mad at you. I clean and sharpen that this was... <laughs> Can you please stop pointing down there? Yeah, well, it only goes to your head or your dog. Don't Are you watch. Seeing, did you scratch your butt with watch. it or something? On the occasion. <laughs> me. I can't. It's please, fighting please so don't, hard. Don't, don't stab Kai. Why does everything I, in Nosgoth want to kill you? Fight Raziel. <laughs> Raziel, we are mighty vampires. We can win this. It's a mighty vampire Raziel. sword, you idiot. <laughs> If Just they couldn't kill vampires, then vampires wouldn't Let's have go. made it. I'm sorry. No. I can't no. anymore. No. I can't. Kane, thanks you for not stabbing him. You know, I was just going to walk out of here, but as usual, your way is better. Oh, 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 what's going on? As usual, Kane's is the only way. Yes, time has changed. It is done. As simple as this. Of all the ways our conflict could have played out, that has to have been the stupidest way. And yet, it was also the most profound. Yes, Cain was destined to die, but now, Raziel, we both shall live. I'm sick of you, Cain, and I've had enough to be sick for centuries. I'm going backwards in time to before you were ever born. Don't follow me. Cain can give you your space, Raziel. Yes, enjoy your vacation. But Cain thinks, at some point in time, you will be missing him. Cain will see you then, Raziel. Boy, nothing destroys dramatic tension quite like that clown horn. Well, he turns into mist. What kind of sound should that make? I don't know. Maybe like the sound of air passing over something. Oh. Ha! What are you, the magic king? You don't know how it sounds. I think it sounds like a bike horn. It's kind of like, you know, dinosaurs. No one knows what color they are, so a lot of artists like to draw them in cool camouflage and stuff like that. Yeah, except camouflage dinosaurs have some real-world backing. You're saying that a creature that is loud, dumb, and two stories tall somehow blended in with the grass. No, I didn't say the big ones were camouflaged. Maybe those ones were sky blue, so small dinosaurs thought they were looking at the sky. Oh, so I don't know if we've talked about this before, but these little cinematics that pop up as Raziel walks through a door? Those are loading screens. Kinda just a neat little technical detail, if you ask me. Uh, see, now I've got that thing where I can't remember if we talked about that or not. Cause you might have talked to me about it when we weren't recording. You know what I am thinking? Would it not be awkward if someone walked in on Kane and Raziel as they struggled with the reaver? Yes. Oh yeah, like what if one of these guys just walked into the chamber and saw Raziel throwing the reaver around and both of them screaming and grunting? I'm half surprised that didn't happen. This place seems pretty packed compared to the first time we ran through. If the guards had any brains at all, the first thing they would do is run for help. They do not do that though. Yes, they just lock themselves in the room with you. I really gotta wonder what part of their training booklet teaches them to do that. When confronted with a living skeleton armed with a shining sword of unknown origin, always lock yourself in the room. You gotta give Mobius' his guys credit, though. Try to imagine if your local police station was invaded by a skeleton with a knife. Not even with the Soul Reaver, a knife. I think after the initial panic, they'd probably just try and trap the skeleton. Like, in a room without people in it, though. That would make the suckiest game, though. Raziel's adventure ends when he is trapped in the room. Yes. Raziel has the same weakness as a house cat. You just close the door and he can never leave. I think that also like a house cat, Raziel would claw the crap out of everything. Okay, I'm not saying that you would be happy you caught Raziel. I'm just saying that you could catch him. The game cannot end that way. Yes, it must end in a haze of viscera and gore. May as well go nuts with that M rating as long as you're gonna have it. So those dogs with the big heavy axes on their heads? I can't help but notice that they wear those during the downtime, too. Maybe the Seraphim breed those dogs specifically for this terrible lifestyle. Otherwise, they're like the saddest creatures in Nazgoth. I don't know about that. When you get into sad with Nazgoth, well, Nazgoth is a pretty sad place. So far, Zaphon gets my vote. Raziel's brother evolved away his legs and then stuck himself to a church. He had hundreds of kids, but none of them ever came to visit. He was like an eternal old person. It's kind of funny how everybody who's anybody in Nosgoth winds up worse off than the regular guys. Isn't it though? I think it's because everybody in Nosgoth is so individualistic. It seems like they tend not to be focused on using people, but rather just guys. You know, like they want you to kill Kane. that's the primary thing, and also his sons, and his vampire brood if you wanna, I guess. I mean, that would be important, but mostly just Kane. It's probably for the best. Individuals are easier to understand than whole groups. And Mobius' schemes would be a lot harder to believe if they wanted us to think that he made a group agree with itself. Oh, hey, Time Donk. There you are. You look a little dumbfounded, Mobius. What's the matter? Did I screw up your little scheme? Well, I don't really know where to start. 
because yes. That's right. Not so superior now, are you, Mobius? I have my own will. Raziel, you have the free will to stuff yourself with pudding until you explode. It doesn't mean that you should do it. Trying to lead me astray with your lies again. I see what you're doing, Mobius. If I did explode from eating too much, I would just come back to life. You're really missing the essential... Never mind. And yet again, I seem to hold the upper hand. What is happening today, Mobius? What happened today is in defiance of destiny, you allowed Cain to live. Now Cain, the self-proclaimed messiah, will go backwards in time and ruin everything. He might not do that. He does. He might have a plan. He doesn't. Well, the future was ruined anyway, so I don't care. Raziel, I'm a little mad. Not at you, just at the universe in general. I wish I told you more about your role, but I was busy. I had to make sure a butterfly was flapping its wings on the other side of the world. You spend so much time making sure that the small things are in place that sometimes you just take the big things for granted. Pillars, 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 Cain, Cain, Cain. I am so sick of hearing about everyone's stupid destiny and what everyone was supposed to do. I spent a thousand years in the pit of torment and I just forgave the idiot who threw me in. I understand that normally that would be saintly, but you really screwed the pooch for everyone else here. Well, you'd know about screwing pooches because your mom is a bitch. Oh, you did not. That was really exceptionally crass. I'm sorry. I used to be the lackey all the time, and Kane would shout at me, and I just came out. It's okay. Tensions are high, and we shouldn't shout. It's just that Kane is like a little kid. He, he doesn't know right from wrong, and you could slap him, but then he would just be mad at you. He wouldn't get that it's punishment. Well, you're not supposed to hit kids. That's why we were going to kill him. I don't care anymore. Let someone else kill him. You might change your mind if you saw the future. No. We're doing things my way now. Get in the time chamber, Mobius. Come on. Let's go. Go over to the controls. Send me backwards in time. Okay, but at some point you need to travel forward and see what happens. Why do you keep suggesting that? You know I won't do it. Are you trying to trick me again? No. I really think you should see the future so you know what Kane does. You're suggesting this to make sure I avoid doing it. No, I'm not. I won't be deceived. Send me to the future, Mobius. Fine, whatever. Okay, flip the thing over. He is such a nice guy, that the Mobius. Yes. I don't know why he always lied to Raziel in the original games. Wouldn't have made a difference. At first glance, it was obvious that the future sucked. I'd been duped again. Worst of all, this wouldn't teach me a darn thing. Because I came from the future and I already knew it sucked. So, oh my god, these horrible demon things, they take the game's difficulty from like 1 to 10 in a single go. Look at the massive chunks of health they're knocking out of Raziel. It's good to see a game that doesn't mess around too much when demons show up. At least you respect them. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's not even respect, it's abject fear. They're faster than Raziel, they hit like a truck, and they chase you in the spectral realm. Like I say, someone on the dev team said, hey, the player should be afraid of demons. Man, you are not kidding. Mission accomplished. But anyway, here seems like a good enough place to stop for now. Thanks for playing with this, everybody.